Good morning Wellington! It is 10 o'clock in the morning and it's our first day here. So we are heading to the film location of Rivendell, um, which is up in a, a mountain like national park forest. So I'm going to get in the car now and head over there. Location, location, location. Um, <clears throat> this is where Aragorn, Boromir and the Fellowship come down in their elven boats in uh, the Fellowship of the Ring. <clears throat> this is the part where they're um, like rowing down the Anduin River. And uh, yeah, it's a really, really cool location. So I'm just taking lots of photos and getting it in the video. Okay, so now um, we're kind of stopping at uh, various locations en route to where the Rivendell Waterfall will be. So here, um, directly behind me, is where they shot a scene from um, The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, where Saruman and Gandalf are walking and this is kind of where Isengard would be. So Gandalf turns up on his horse and then they walk and, and talk in kind of the green forest of, of Isengard. So this tree directly to my left, your right, is um, is in the shot scene in the film. So um, yeah, we're kind of doing lots of various film locations today, which is really cool, because obviously I'm a massive fan, if you hadn't already told, I might work that out. <laughs> so where we just were was the location that Gandalf rides into Orthanc, and here, this would be the gardens of Isengard. So Gandalf and Saruman walk up here, um, having a conversation about the One Ring and Frodo and, and things. So yeah, it's cool visiting all these places where they actually filmed. It's good. This is the spot, one of my favourite scenes in the second Lord of the Rings film, where Aragorn um, gets washed up um, by the river and his horse Brago comes and um, rescues him basically because he's been badly injured. And uh, this is where they shot that. So you've got to use your imagination obviously, but um, yeah, it's pretty real. It's, um, it's good. So on the post here at the National Park, <coughs> it's got a um, bit of Elvish that the translation says, um, come walk this path to Rivendell and it's written on the other side of the board so um, let's go and find it so that is the height of a hobbit 1.07 a dwarf is slightly bigger and Gandalf is 1.7 meters Aragorn is 1.95. Legolas pretty tall, two meters one. That's seriously tall. And then Sauron, the big bad guy, 2.4 meters. This is it, the map of Rivendell. So it may sound crazy, because for some of you it might be just like, oh it's just a forest or whatever, but um, it feels like Rivendell. Um, you can just, where the wind is blowing and the trees and stuff, it probably sounds crazy, but that's my instinctive Middle Earth brain. It's definitely uh, a magical place. Well here you have it, the gateway out of Rivendell. Um, it was here that the Fellowship left, Frodo leading the way and Gandalf behind him in the Fellowship of the Ring. And the first thing Frodo says as he's walking out is, Mordor Gandalf, is it left or right? Because the path goes two ways and he doesn't know. And Gandalf's like, left, and touches him on the shoulder, which is really, really moving. And um, 
yeah, it's just so cool to be here and imagining that the whole set, the bridges of Rivendell, the waterfalls, everything that was filmed here. Um, and I'm actually here now. It's crazy. Okay, I'm on the ricketiest bridge ever, and I feel like I'm on the uh, I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here, bridge! <laughs> Look, oh, a proper jiggles, and you bounce on it as well. It's funny. <laughs> so this here is also the site where they filmed um, a part, a scene in the second Lord of the Rings, the two towers. Um, called the Fords of Eisen. So this was used as the Fords of Eisen, which is part of a river. Um, and it's kind of where the stones meet um, and they cross over. And Ermir um, is part of Rohan. He, uh, he comes and rescues the king's son here at this very point. So that's four locations ticked off the list. So it's our last day with the car and we are doing a coastal drive around the outside of Wellington just to see some of the sights before we have to head um, back into the city to drop the car off at the car hire place. So yeah, you'll see some of those sights in a minute. New Zealand, you are beautiful. Look at that. Blue sea, sun is shining, sand. Just looks stunning. And I'm a very lucky person to be able to visit this beautiful country. So that ferry in the background is probably the one that I'm gonna be catching when I go to the South Island. So we just dropped the car off, now we're heading back to the hotel. I've been via the eye centre and got some information of the South Island. So I know a few places that I want to go, how I'm going to get there, all that jazz. So yeah. Okay, so we've been in the pool, had a little spa sesh and now I'm going to go into the town to find something to eat for dinner. Um, because I'm starving. Got myself a cheeky pot noodle. So uh, I'm gonna eat that and um, then edit. I'm feeling pretty tired today because we've done a lot. Um, so then uh, I'm gonna edit and go to bed. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please hit subscribe and join the journey. On to the next day. I'll speak to you all soon.